good morning i've had my morning coffee it's monday i'm about to go to the gym it's really really weird because i'm just i'm not one of those youtubers who just like to like make up my day my days are boring sometimes it's a lot of work um and i just like to keep it real as real as possible um but um <laughs> yeah so vlogs are meant to be you know like be right so my real day starts off with me on a monday going to the gym um my, my lazy day so don't expect much out of this vlog it's gonna be so lazy i have a lot of work to get done but i like to make monday like my third day of my third weekend day of the week <laughs> i like to kind of just ease myself into the week which you're going to see throughout this whole vlog um if we get anything done today if we do anything interesting today um but yeah i'm going to the gym yes i do wear makeup to the gym um nothing on my face so it's just no foundation this is how my skin looks like um but i do do my brows because i have no brows <laughs> i have very sparse brows very very thin brows from over plucking as a teenager i'm growing that oil i swear helps grow back any hair like your brows if you have thin edges anything like that i've heard that it does wonders on hair i'm not sponsored oh i have packaging to do so here we go i want to show you that my skin because i have no foundation on no like face makeup it's literally my natural skin look my skin is healing from maskne and now if you don't know what maskne is it is basically we're not meant to have things on our face like what i mean that fabric across our face um of any kind um even the n95 mask you're not meant to wear that constantly for hours on end so i and quite a lot of people were developing mask knee and i've never had like acne in my life um i just get like the regular pimple that comes with like a period but nothing nothing like that like what happened to me over in 2020 so i'm recovering from mask knee and look at my skin dolls it's starting to be good because when i did a video showing you my skincare routine and how i helped recover my face from mask knee you're going to be so shocked at how my skin was um and now it's just smooth look this is where it would always be on my cheeks this is just but now my skin is just clear um yeah so i'm going to show you how that goes but i just love that i can wear my skin happily to the gym and i feel glowy and just ready to go so i will see you dolls after i come back from the gym let's see what we can get done with the day let's go the most horrible thing just happened and this rarely happens because i always pack and make sure that this doesn't happen so i forgot my earphones at home yes i forgot my earphones at home it's like i just want to die whenever that happens because i drive all the way here go through all the lights at the traffic lights only to forget my ear earphones that's like my lifeline at the gym it's more important than having water to me because i need to drown out everything to work out now that's a good thing about being self-employed is that i can add more hours to my day in a way like i don't i don't have to check in with anybody so I'm just going to turn this car around and go home and get my earphones but i hate it it's the most horrible thing ever and i swear i packed it so now i'm reversing my car i hate today and then like all of those people over there to go to the gym but i forget my earphones where i found where i found my earphones i didn't have to go home oh my god it's so annoying i knew that i brought it out with me i'm about to show you and i'm gonna keep my mask on i went to the post office which isn't thank god it's not far away from the gym so i don't have to make like a far journey but i thought let me just kill two birds with one stone i had a lot to ship out today um that i didn't think i had so it was like orders backed up from the weekend um so i did that and I'm glad it's not far away from my gym like it's literally down the street so I didn't have to make a long journey basically um, so I'm about to show you where I found my earphones which I told you I told you I, I said I felt like I packed it so I'm going to show you right now my masks are all funny but I'm going to show you look found my earphones in between my legs just in between my legs just sitting there I knew it I knew I came in the car with my earphones I'm going to be one of those people that drive with their mask on because literally the gym is not that far i'm gonna get in there get a good workout thank god i didn't have to go home you don't understand how like irritated i was 
um, earlier thinking I had to drive all the way home. So thank God I don't have to do that. Um, now I'm gonna go to the gym and have some fun. I'll see dolls inside the gym. Hopefully I can film in there. I try not to because of privacy issues and people spaces and stuff. Um, but we'll see. I'll see you inside there. If not, I'll see you when I get home. I just got back from the gym I couldn't film that because I work out in the gym and there's people inside there maybe next time I'll try and film it's not gonna be an interesting day I just want to vlog <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long day dolls so I'm gonna um, do my um, birthday nails really soon I'm taking off these ones here that you see let me give you a clearer um there you go can you see it the Chanel nails that I did classic Chanel 90s look I'm gonna be taking this off and I'm going to be um, I don't know what style I want to do for my birthday. It's my 30th birthday, so I have to do something a little bit special but practical because I want to be able to use it. Workspace that I need to clean up. So maybe you dolls can see how I do like clean up. Maybe that's what today's vlog will be. We'll see. Today's day's oops, I just locked my car. I hate when that happens. Like my steering. Let me show you. Steering is locked. Let me just fix that. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. It's locked. No oh crap how do i feel there we go i don't know what does that but it's kind of um the radio is going to be on blast it's kind of locked but anyway i don't know does that happen to your got out the shower um i'm gonna take you doors with me to clean my workspace and then i'm gonna start working on some of the masks that i have the orders i have um I, all time i just said all that my brows have been really wonky does that ever happen like they don't look even do you see it they just don't match <laughs> this one's like <sighs> i think that's naturally how i have my um like how my face is i think every face looks like that like everyone's um face is just one side is higher and i can never get this one to cooperate with this one it just looks really weird you see that but anyway um there is i want to show you something so there is a perfume that i am so crazy about the smell and it's this one here um it's called oh, let me show you it's just let me show you pink sugar um the camera wasn't let me pick it up but it's called pink sugar and i found it at tj maxx and everyone's used this um and telling me it's really old school and stuff like that but you have to understand i have to me it's not old school because it's new to me i've never really seen this remember i lived in the uk i don't know how they if they have this in london but to americans maybe this is old school to you but i love it i love the smell um quite a lot of my subbies a lot of you loved it and told me i should get it smells really good i'm about to show you another perfume that i got from tj maxx as well but i keep using this one and i love it it just has like a nice um bubble gum like smell to it and i just love it i just want to show you one of my new purchases and it's only 21 dollars um let me show you the inside of it this is the inside of this for those of you who don't know this is how it actually looks like and it's just called pink sugar and i just like it because it's pink and i like the packaging it's really pretty it smells really good and i just had to get it one that i got and i got this one from tj tj marshall's but they sell it in tj maxx as well so it's called rose quartz and it smells so so good screenshot if you want this i love the packaging it's 12 dollars, 12.99 only and it smells delicious i love the packaging it just looks really expensive um and i've been using it since i got it last i think last week now it's going to probably be two weeks now but just yeah about a week look at the packaging it just looks so expensive but it's cheap perfume and it lasts all day so my mum got one as well the next one i'm going to get is ruby when i can find it because a lot of my subbies have told me they have not been able to find it i feel like that happens a lot when i show a particular item that i like 
everyone just goes and buys it and it's just hard for me to ever see it again so that's one of the things about being a youtuber or, or an influencer of any sort you just kind of like sell items out even if you're not sponsored um and i like it i love you all to be able to get things that i like um i've been looking in a lot of the locations that i've seen it in and it's not there it's like gone but anyway i love my pink sugar um this is like my current i just spray it into like my hair because i love when i when you turn to the side you smell it so always spray it into like into this corner and that corner and it you will smell good all day i promise you but anyway we need to get dressed because i need to get ready to just get my day together and get work done and clean up because i have a big pile waiting for me to clean up that's why i have no curtains in the back like behind me because my rod broke and literally fell on me and raven my dog and it was just we we're so lucky that nothing happened to us because it was really like boom and a lot of stuff broke when it fell i don't know why it fell maybe it wasn't hung on tight and my mirror up there i used to have a mirror that stays up there big sun burst rhinestone mirror it's gone it fell too and I can't be bothered to get it. It's behind my bed. But anyway, I'm going to show you. I know I'm like distracted. I have so much. That's pretty much how the day goes for me. Full of distractions and things that I need to do. And, you know, um, but I want to show you my dress. One of my dresses for my 30th birthday. I'm not going to like, that's bothering me in the background. <laughs> but I'm not going to, um, you're not going to really see it. It's just to give you a glimpse. I've shown a bit of it on Instagram. Um. But yeah, let me just show you because I'm distracted. <laughs> That's pretty much how my day goes until it's actually time for me to start working. So I'm going to show you it really quickly. And this is just one out of three. I have three dresses, okay? Sneak peek of it. It's so pretty. Forget the Amazon boxes down there. It's so huge. All of this is part of it. It's just, look at the detail. Look at the ruffles. It's so detailed. Um, and I can't wait to wear it. And it feels so gorgeous it's just so huge to move around and yeah it's just beautiful i can't wait till i get to get to wear it you know like actually outside um but yeah this is it and i'm gonna pair it with this these like um i was gonna say lace why is this attached to this london oh maybe i can wear it together with this hair clip look but i'm gonna wear it with these pearls and they're just so pretty look at that dolls pearl earrings now it's stuck on the tour great anyway so <laughs> all this weird stuff always happens to me and this is another dress behind but you can't see that one until it's time so that's like my second look no third look third look so yeah ready to i just can't wait to show it really need to start getting some form of work done now this is how mondays go for me mondays is just so lazy nothing it takes me time to get into the week okay i just finished the weekend and that's it takes me time to like dive into the week i feel like every human is like that but for me because i work for myself it's not good <laughs> i mean monday's still like monday's like the third day of the weekend for me basically can we see how much faffer, faffing around has gone on and i'm not actually getting any work done i'm just like show this show that distractions everywhere so we need to start getting some work done and part of it is doing these packages of the eyelashes so let's get started and stop looking at stuff in here okay so you're probably wondering why i'm in my car we were meant to start work i was meant to start work um now it's night time and then my mom um calls me and says hey i need to go to the grocery store so my mom does not drive so i have to take her um by the way my skin just looks all glowy oh my god for no foundation my skin looks really really glowy i just can't get over how glowy it looks like but yeah um took my seat belt off but yeah i thought what a good time to just talk to you dolls really quickly about stuff while i'm in the car and just like you know might as well um, my life is just unpredictable it's very it flows in a pattern so i know what i'm doing pretty much for the whole week but i told you mondays is just a confusing day <laughs> it's just whatever happens it's a lazy it starts off as a very lazy day it's a follow-up from the weekend it's my third day of the week um but i've noticed i still get a lot done on the monday but this is just to show you how 
Monday goes. But anyway, I wanted to talk to you dolls quickly about something. So I don't know if you see this woman on Instagram. Um, I'm going to put her picture somewhere there, somewhere, just somewhere right here. She went and put glue in her hair. Like, you know the glue I use on my DIYs? Gorilla Glue. And I talk about that glue all the time. How it's my favorite glue to use on glass and mirrors and hard stuff. Well, this fool went and put it in her hair. Put it on her actual head. You dolls need to see this video. I'm gonna, in, I'm gonna, I hate like endorsing foolishness or giving it any more attention than it deserves. But if you haven't seen it, I'm just gonna put it right here finish it off with the little got the big blue spray you know just you can see she went she wanted to have her hair slicked down and she went and put gorilla glue in her hair and as i told you i use that glue for like diys um all that type of stuff you don't put that crap in your hair you are such a fool i swear people just do and i truly believe she did it on purpose you people do things to go famous like to get clout and to just go viral and it's like imagine the low the low depths people sink to to get fame like what happened to having talent what happened to people having talent being famous why is why did this woman go from having no followers to half a million followers for being stupid all it's doing is promoting stupidity and someone else especially a, a teenager or a child is going to do something even more stupid oh let me cut my fingers off oh let me glue my eyelashes to my eyelids no to my to down here or let me glue my lips together someone's going to try to top what she did and mind you she's a 40 year old woman Woman, so she should know way better than that tell me why she has half a million followers why are they following her why why do people who actually have talent struggle to get followers struggle to get the recognition they deserve and a fool is being followed for what so anyway that's just my little car rant <laughs> why I'm waiting for my mum to get her stuff together and then I'm finally gonna start off with what I told you I'll do which is part of my now it's into evening, but getting things ready for shipping for tomorrow. Um, yeah. <laughs> Today has just been a chit-chat day, just bringing you dolls along with me. Um, but yeah, it just annoys me. Like, that woman just needs to be... Um, people need to ignore that. She did it, and she finally got what she wanted, which is attention. So, it's really hot in here. I have, like, the heaters on. Do you ever, like, enjoy the winter just to have your heaters in the car i love heaters on my toes my next car has to have the heating on my bum <laughs> i'm gonna drive now and i will see you dolls in a bit um yeah <laughs> i'll see you dolls in a bit um this lady was trying to get my vlog so i like angled my camera but yeah i'll see you dolls in a bit when i can finally get on with my work because you know but my skin just looks so healthy it just looks so healthy Raven, look at the camera. Always it, always looking out of the window of the car. Raven, look at the camera. Look at the camera. Oh, I will see you dolls in a bit. Um, but yeah, tell me what you think about that glue lady. Because that's what they call a gorilla glue girl. And she calls herself that. Oh, and she has a GoFundMe page. A GoFundMe page. And people are, I have people hating on me having a gift list for my birthday. Hate on that. Like, why has she got a GoFundMe page? She's asking for fifteen thousand dollars, dolls. Fifteen thousand for her stupid mistake. Her her hair is. They're probably gonna have to shave. She's stuck. Tell me what you think about that in the comment section down below. There's Miss Silly on her way. Say hi to the vlog. Mm? Say hi to the vlog. Hi. Wait this way. <laughs> I'm now home, um, and I'm tired. <laughs> But I want to show you what I'm having. It's night time. I always have this as breakfast. And I have it sometimes as like a late night. Not late night, but like just a snack, like maybe around 8 or 9. I think right now it's almost 9. Um, I try to stop eating by 8, but it's really, really hard. Because especially if you're busy like me, there's a lot of running around. So I'm about to show you what I have. Everyone loves this when I post it on my Instagram stories. Um, and I love it too. And I'm going to tell you the ingredients right now that I put inside this. Here is my homemade parfait. And I'll tell you what I put in it. I love it. It's very simple, very straight to the point. I have bananas. I use half a banana. So that's what you see right here. Half a banana. 
um i use two strawberries sometimes sometimes one because it depends the shape i want to make so for this one i used two strawberries and i ate some as well this one's a bit messy the ones i post on instagram look really good but because i'm brushing i didn't have time to really clean this up um i have some blueberries are these blueberries blackberries blueberries yeah some blueberries and i have some honey oats not oats honey um granolas um and i just put like honey over it like a little bit just one drop of honey i drizzle it all over this and greek yogurt at the bottom plain greek yogurt because all of this gives it flavor so this is what i'm about to chow down on and then i will start to get to my work finally 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 getting some work done it's evening um first of all if you've not seen my packaging for my eyelash collection wait look at this i'm just obsessed with my packaging it's been wow it'll make it two years now since i launched my eyelash collection look at the inside just look at the inside dolls i'm obsessed it's just so pretty it never gets boring to me oh my god so if you've never seen it before i'm going to go through both of them with you so it has these are the lashes that come inside it so we have b doll which is this one here this is the most popular selling lash that i have b doll and i'm obsessed with b doll they're very they look like they're really thick but they're not um they're very like everyday lashes you can wear this every single day and it fits really nicely on everyone's face so b doll is one of my favorite lashes um got some dust on there so um the next one is basic babe um i do have basic babe but it's not like in reach right now but um basic babe is just like natural lash a lot of um people this sold out really fast be and, ba and basic babe it was like a tie between them dainty daisy is just very flirty lashes um never really launched that one yet <laughs> tea time also sold out a lot it was actually a tie between tea time and be doll which is this one because um Tea time is very, also very natural, but at the same time, it's very um, flirty and fun. And stush, we never launched that either, so we had to, we still have to launch these two, Dainty Daisy and um, stush. I never know why they changed the font, like for my packaging people. I don't know why they made the font different for Dainty Daisy and the rest of them. I think I told them to do that. I don't know, but it just now it stands out to me more than ever. So we went for this foil gold look, um, and then here it has like a Bible scripture in here. It says, you are altogether beautiful, my darling, beautiful in every way. And I just love that quote. Um, I just love how glam this is. And I designed all of this, the bow, everything, the glitter. I chose everything. It was just sketched in my brain. Um, and then it has my signature, like I actually wrote that. And then they copied it and hot stamped it in gold foil and it has like my website and my instagram information so this is the front and when it's like done up so i'm gonna put them all in bows these are all the orders that need to be shipped out it will look like this so when you unravel it obviously it looks like that but this is how it's meant to look like with a pretty bow and just look at that on the edges and then these are for my more dramatic ones you can see this one is slightly different they're not the same even shade of pink um this one here is for like more glam lashes and um this has an order in it so i'm not going to open it I'm, in fact let me open one that doesn't have anything inside it which is this one um these are for more dramatic lashes or not even just dramatic these are for like um the actual human hair lashes mink lashes so these ones cost more and you're only getting one lash so this is just a lash i put in here um but this is a sample box this particular one i'm holding um so so look it says this one here this is what it says on it this was just read it just read it i'm not gonna read it out to you we're gonna change the packaging of this one <laughs> and then it's got a scripture in there the irony of something like this and a scripture underneath don't ask me questions dolls and then look it's got the glitter edges and here's the front of it this is just for that drama lashes and these are sketches of me if you didn't notice 
um, and then behind is pretty much the same thing except this time we put my YouTube channel so if you're subscribed there it is so yeah I'm going to show you how I um, package everything um, of course I have to hide out the names that's why I've turned some of these packages upside down so you can't see the names and the address even my address and all that kind of stuff and then I'm going to package everything this is what I put them into so let me quickly when I um by the way I'm on a, a rug but this rug don't worry it's not a rug that I walk on if you're wondering for hygiene I actually just use this rug to package stuff so I sit down I pull this rug out and then when I'm done I put it away so don't come for me and say I'm doing this on the floor because I just use this to sit down and package stuff on the floor it's easier for me on a desk sometimes but when you really want to go and you have a lot of labels and stuff to stick this is easier so um but anyway um basically what i do is when i'm done i put these into like this one goes inside here so i would put this inside here obviously i have one hand on the camera so it's gonna be a struggle look so i just put it inside like this and then tie it up one hand by the way and then I put it inside this and obviously the address is on the other side you can't see and then I put it into, inside here so I'm going to package all of this stuff because that's pretty much all I have to do today um, so these orders can be ready for shipping um, ready they like whatever they order I put it inside like I have to put this inside like oh it's so pretty dolls inside the book like this well this piece it goes in like this i don't know what this piece is for to be quite honest so and just like that we're done and then i tie up the bow and this one doesn't go inside a baggie because it can't fit in the baggie. This one goes straight into the um, envelope ready to be shipped after I tie this bow up. So I've got um, two orders to go. Well, this one to do here and then I'll be done with packaging everything. And I wanted to say, so basically when I, um, like let's say you order two lashes. Oh, I, I like to put a little comb inside here as well for dolls, you dolls. Okay, so let's say when you order two lashes, like say you order two of these, I will um, basically get, um, I'll get your order and just stack it on top like this and make sure it fits inside there because it can. Just so, um, I'll see that this is bulky, but I make sure it just like that and then I close it and it fits and it goes inside. The reason why is because this these cost a lot of money and to be also eco-friendly and all that kind of stuff i do not like to i wouldn't say waste packaging but it makes no sense for me to no company would do this to send you two of these boxes when you are when you're ordering two stuff now if you're ordering like four or five of them then i can't stack them like that so i would have to send you more packaging but these are very expensive just to make these boxes and it's a lot on shipping too so you know when you're a small business starting out you don't even big big businesses they don't waste not waste but they yeah waste they don't waste money on packaging too much they try to cut things down because you want to make a profit right so that's what i do i stack them like this can you see it's stacked and then they go inside here so i have all of these orders to package up put in the envelopes i have more that i need to go and get done and then i'll be done for the day it has been a very short day but i'm ready to get to bed because i'm tired anyway so i'm gonna get this done now dolls thank you so much dolls for watching my lazy monday that should be the title of this video lb's lazy monday um i don't have like much i do on monday it's more like as i told you throughout this whole video it's my third weekend day like day of the weekend um i mean for me mondays used to be really busy but i like to just ease myself into the week you know so um 
yeah thank you so much for watching dolls i feel like i could have done more fun stuff but this is actually my reality um not really anything fun on a monday going on for me it's more relaxing <laughs> but i kind of just get like orders together and things ready to ship for tuesday tuesday is game day as you can see i've got everything packages ready to go so thank you so much for watching dolls if you enjoyed this vlog give it a big fat thumbs up um i can't wait to do more vlogs like this i actually enjoy it it's more fun it's no pressure i love it so yeah I'll see you dolls in my next video. Bye. Love you dolls.